All right. Well, let's go to 2017 uh, Revenge. Um, summary for this film Never take your mistress on an annual guy's getaway, especially one devoted to hunting. A violent lesson for three wealthy married men. Written and directed by Corali Farjo, French lady. Um, I thought this movie was just basically like a retreading of I spit on your grave, a uh, different tune, new, a new version. Uh, no, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, a revenge uh, film. You say? Yeah. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about those films, but I'm not a fan. <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't, I, it, they're always so like, there's always rape in them. And <laughs> it's like, I don't want to see that. And, uh, you know, of course it's not my jam. It's shot. This is shot really well though. Like if you like, I spit on your grave, you will really like this movie. Probably if you like rape, you will really yeah. like it. No, I say. no, no, no. It's tastefully <laughs> done. It's tastefully done. Uh, my my but, pick. Um, I didn't even get to see but it. there is some crazy shit that happens in it. Like this girl gets like impaled, and then it, it's wild, man. There's, uh, I mean, she does come back. But if I'm gonna watch a revenge movie, I'll be honest. I want to watch Mother's Day, and that's probably the only one I really want to watch. Uh, it's the only one I have fun with, or that I've seen, anyways. Um, uh, what's some other revenge movies? I can't even think well, of any. Last House on the Left. Oh, I like that one. Um, rape, of course, involved. It's uh, definitely involved. Got to be in there. Why can't they ever have revenge of something other than rape? I mean. I'm fine with it. I mean, I guess it's probably the worst thing aside from killing a woman you could do to him, but you know, like John wicks huge and they just killed his dog. Right. So, um, <laughs> well, uh, Friday 13th, um, they killed Jason's mother. So that's kind of a revenge thing there. Yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> I, I just don't know why this, this, to me, this is an entertaining premise to, to watch. It's not, I don't know. I don't get it. It's, a, it's not like something that I'm like, ah, I want to kick back, just see how the <laughs> night's going to go and just unveil some fucking atrocities. Uh, they're not real. I know, but, but holy shit. Um, ultimately at the end of the movie, you're left saying, I mean, everybody in it's terrible. All of them, even the woman, she's not even that great. Uh, you end up sitting there saying, man, I sure am glad that this mistress made it out alive. Like, like that's it. I mean, uh, the the only thought part I thought was cool was um, whenever she uh, you takes some peyote. That's what it was, right? Peyote, mm -hmm. uh, and then she like pulls the shit out of her, like cauterizes it, and it, like leaves a little, you know, what phoenix or something. Uh, but yeah, I, I I gave this a six because it's done so well. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it, but I cannot deny that if you like this style movie, you will enjoy it. So, you know, that's me. Six. That's a good review because I mean, I, I can't say I like, I specifically like revenge, but I like, I spit on your grave and last house on the left. So mm -hmm. yeah, it sounds like I like it. Give it a shot. Well, okay. Yeah, I dug I dug this one a lot. I'd been meaning to watch it. It was always on my docket, but I just never got around to watching it. So perfect excuse to watch it now. Um, awesome colors. The, I thought the color of the film was really well done. I love the way it was shot was really well done, too. Like, I totally 100% agree. This was a classy I split on your or not classy, glossy. Glossy it's I the blum on, house on your grave. Yeah, yeah. I get, I get no, it. No, this is bet. I feel like this is better yeah. than Blum House. Like the the look. This is this is some high end shit. Um, yeah, the girl's a mistress. Whatever. I like her story, her survival skills. I like how she takes the peyote and fucking predators herself yeah. in the field, just dresses her wounds. Um, that oh. That impalement was mm. so brutal on that on that tree, and the way they showed the, they got like so many awesome close ups in this of like macro shots of like ants crawling around in the blood and stuff, mm. and like it's overtaking them. She gets off, 
off of the um uh, off of the bridge she builds a fire underneath herself like she's <laughs> like 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 bent backwards up she's up so she's upside down scraping shit together starting a fire like she was she was a badass chick like i like her a lot um everything she did was so justified the effects were really good <laughs> mm. she got that dude in the eye twice oh my god so fast it was like in the fog when they got mm. real quick you know it was just like she got him so good and man fuck that mm. dude. <laughs> dude that was a fat dude right yeah yeah fuck that guy for letting it go down and then fuck that dude that did it mm. um <laughs> it was it was it wasn't the worst scene you've ever seen but it was it was it sucks you know what i mean like it's a yeah. it was well done though it was very well done lots of tension in this movie like this was like far-fetched but not out of the realm possible like probable this could happen you know <laughs> like we don't know what the rich are up to they're hunting people oh yeah you know what i'm saying like they're doing weird weird shit with their money i wouldn't be surprised if something like this went down one time or another um uh, once again the effects the glass in the foot holy shit that was awesome really like that it looks so good uh i am personally sorry that they didn't just shotgun that dude in the balls at the end just as like that final gross gritty revenge mm -hmm. you know so for that reason i gave it a nine <laughs> <laughs> see had if you shot, like yeah had she shot that dude in the nuts like and just it was like poor, poor i mean poor director mm. doesn't get a 10 because he didn't get he didn't shoot the dude in the nuts so simple. That sucks. It called, the scene <laughs> called for it <laughs> Yeah, it was. It, it, it would have made sense. I mean, yeah. But so, uh, what do you give it, Rob? I dug it. I give it a solid eight. It was like an an action packed movie. It's like one of those films, you know. That's like you see the the dirt bag, the scumbags who in real life would totally have gotten away with it all the scot free, not get punished or anything. But in this movie, it's a totally different situation. Yeah, you know, and she comes back, and gets her revenge, and totally messes these guys up. And you know, it's like classic, like just like the um, the new remake of um, of my um, spin on your grave. You know, it's like well, not new; it's pretty old now, but but yeah. still, that it was very yeah. very well done. Yeah. You know, lots of gore, lots of blood. You know, and these guys who you want to see suffer. Suffer. Oh, God, suffer it's just oh, so God. good it's yeah <laughs> yeah it is i'm, I'm sold about those fish i'm sold you guys eye. have sold me <laughs> yeah very very good yeah 